happy morning, my dear students. How are you doing? I hope you are taking good care of yourself and feeling healthy. Today, we will have an opportunity to learn a new animation effect. Are you ready? For today's hands-on activity, you will need the following. A computer or laptop connected to the internet and scratch account. Before we continue, think and identify the blocks that you use to animate your name from the previous lesson. Well done kids! These blocks are change color. The change color block changes the color of any sprite in stage when click. Spin. Spin turns the sprite clockwise or to the right or counterclockwise to the left when click. Grow and Shrink The Grow and Shrink uses the block change size, which changes the size of the sprite when it's clicked. For today's session, we are learning to animate letters in Scratch by making it bounce. What I'm looking for. I can use Change Y block to make the letters bounce. I can use repeat block to make it bounce many times. Watch this video clip to learn about how to make your sprite or letter bounce. A letter might bounce to represent a sport, the way an animal moves, or a person's upbeat personality. To start, add a new sprite to your project. Scroll through the library of available sprites until you find the letter you need. Click on the sprite to add it to your project. This example uses the letter A, but you will add a sprite for the name you are animating. From the Code tab, select the Motion menu. Click, hold, and drag out a Change Y by block. Change the value in the block to 20. Click the block to see what it does. The sprite moves up. But, for it to bounce, it needs to move down as well. To make the sprite move down, drag out another Change Y by block and change the value to negative 20. Don't connect the two blocks. Click the block. The sprite moves down. Next, make the sprite move up and down repeatedly so it bounces. Connect the two Change Y by blocks. Then, click the control menu. Drag out a repeat block and place it around the two change Y by blocks. Click the block stack. It seems like the sprite doesn't move, but it actually moves so fast you can't see it. To fix this, click the control menu and drag out a weight block. Place it inside the repeat block above the change Y by blocks. Drag out another weight block and place it between the two change Y by blocks. Click the block stack. The sprite bounces, but too slowly. Change the values in the weight blocks to a smaller number, like 0.1. Click the block stack again. That's better. Next, make the sprite play a sound while it bounces. Click the sounds tab. Then, click Add a Sound. Find a sound you like in the Scratch Library. Select the sound you want to add to your project and click. After you choose a sound, return to the Code tab, select the Sound menu. Drag out a Start Sound block and place it in your block stack under the first weight block. Change the drop-down menu to the sound you added. Click the block stack. 
the sprite bounces and plays a sound. To run this code when the sprite is clicked, select the events menu and drag out a when this sprite clicked event. Attach it to the top of your block stack. Click the sprite. The sprite bounces and plays a sound when you click it. Now someone can use the code you created simply by clicking the letter in your name. What have we learned today? We've learned to animate the sprite or letters by making it move up and down and add a sound as it bounces. We made it possible using the change Y block where it moves the sprite's vertical position up or down according to the specified amount or value. We use repeat block which makes the sprite move continuously for a number of times by specifying a value. And lastly, the start sound block which plays a specified sound effect. Now, it is your turn to show your animation skill by doing your hands-on activity.